everyone, this is Mr. Elvaronin here again, and today I'm here for a Tomura Shigaraki breakdown. Breakdown of his second or his new variation. Oh, or I think it says current form. Um, this version of Shigaraki, I would say, is very different from the old one. He's definitely footsies based, he has this sort of projectile he, that tracks very well, he has these like, unusual, very fast like map moving moves that really move him around so and he has an interesting grab and long range stuff. He he's very interesting, so I'll I will go through all of his buttons obviously. First we'll start with his attack string. It's a three hit attack string that ends in a kick that can be dash cancelled from very easily. Um, all hits can be dash cancelled, obviously. His red attack is a grab that goes. that is a complete splat. You can't get anything after it, but it does do damage over time, or dot damage. As you can see here, it's doing actually a total of almost 5,000 damage, which is pretty decent damage for a red attack. His armor move is. It's pretty basic, I don't use it that much. It has a, a few hits, it's not that fast, it's not that long ranged. It's hard to get a combo after it. You can, but it's not your most damaging move. So just use it as yellow move whenever you need a yellow move. His air combo string, if you've seen, is a 3 hitting or 4 hitting, 5 hitting, a uh, move that requires three buttons, you hit it three times, and then the last grab splat thing is one thing. Usually I cancel it after the second hit to get more damage um, by cancelling it to his other quirks. His air tilt attack um, is a bounce that can be used and cancelled into his other buttons, which is useful for extending combos. Um, and that's it's main use. It obviously has good range as well, like most air yellow attacks. It runs for quite a while. Okay, now to, for his quirk buttons. His quirk one is this long ranged ground break move. It can be dash cancelled as you just saw. And I don't know if I can get it to be shown here. Here, wait, if I hit him far away. I show this. It has what I'm trying to show is that it has great tracking. See, it will chase off to them basically wherever they go, unless obviously they sprint run. But even then, it's pretty good and it covers a lot of the screen. It does l less damage the further away they are. Like over there, he was seeing it was only doing like 900, 9,000, but up close, it can do 3,000, which is a lot better, or 1,000. Just depends on how it hits. It's very. Unre the damage can change a lot. It's very unreliable. <laughs> so that got 900, even though he was in my face. Sometimes he has 3,000, sometimes 1,000. 8, 800. But it's very good, it's very good tracking, and it can be dash cancelled from almost. I think it can be from as far away as you can hit it. You can dash cancel for a full combo, so I'll test that. Okay, so if, he, if they're too far away, you have to dash cancel before it even hits, which is a bit risky. But see here, like there I was able to see that it hits, dash cancel, and then get a full combo afterwards. His tilt quirk one is this really interesting run move, which as you can see here, it leaves a puddle on the ground. Oh, he missed it. Okay, walk into it. Yeah, as you can see, it doesn't lead to a combo or anything like Darby's, but it does damage over time, and it's quite a large thing it leaves on the screen, which, you know, you can stand in, make the enemy scared to come near you, because it, it is actually very large, and it, it hits in the air as well, so they try and jump at you, it'll hit them, so it's just like a safe zone for you where they don't, don't want to come. So, now, on this run move, if you just tap qu tilt quirk, tilt quirk one, he will do it automatically, and like, just go straight at you, and basically all the hits will hit, and it'll do a, a great 5,000 damage, like depending on how close you start it. 4,000, you know, depending on the amount of hits that connect. 
Or, and as you can see here, his puddle that he leaves out, he can make multiple of. And they stay on the screen for quite a while. So they're very good for just covering the screen and controlling where your enemy wants to go. So this move can be cancelled in from his normal strings. And it does great damage and can be used to extend combos. Um, it is very interesting. It does a lot of block pressure because all the, all the attacks hit and it doesn't have a, a gap in between this. So that does a lot of great block, block pressure, so it'll break their guard easily is what I'm trying to say. And it just does a lot of damage. Oh, and what I was saying before is if you don't hold it straight, you can actually control where you run. So, and you have an actually surprising amount of control over how you run, so I can like try and avoid him and go behind him, place it wherever I want. And yeah, it's a very interesting mobili mobility move, and also a trap move, I guess, as well. And combo move. It's, a, it's just a good move, I guess, than it is. Um, for extending combos, you do two hits into it, hold it down until he does the last one. Oops. Sometimes it's a bit hard to connect after the last one. So I tend to connect just before he does the last uh, swipe. So like... Like that. And it can also be used as a good combo ender, as seen here, when you do two hits into his armor move, and then you can do it from the air, and that's one of his most damaging ways to end his combos. So, in the air, it is the exact same, he just runs down to the ground to do it. You may do a few less hits, but it still does great damage and has the same effects. Um, so I'll re-show you that combo that I did with it. Um, yeah, as you saw there, the armor move can the armor move can cause the enemy to just flatten to the floor if it hits him in the corner, which can be annoying for him. There we go. See, it does a solid 8,500 damage, and they're likely to wake up and not block that final thing, so it practically does 10,000 damage if they get hit by that last part. Um, uh, his air quirk, quirk 1, by the way, is interesting. I thought I was missing something at first, because he doesn't do anything, but it's just this backflip that he does that takes him quite far away. You can cancel it after things, even after this. But it, it is just that, it's, it's a backflip. And I didn't think this would be very useful at first, but as you can see, it recovers very quickly, so like very after he, soon after he lands he can walk around or attack. So sometimes if I'm attacking in the air, and they're blocking, I'll do the backflip and then they go to attack me because they think it's some unsafe special move or something. And then I just go in and start my combos and they're not ready for it because it... Yeah, it recovers surprisingly quickly, more faster than you would expect. And you can also do like after you do the the dash in from far away. I don't like how you can't choose to cancel it early before you're like right in their face, because then they can obviously press buttons and stop you. So you can do that and then cancel it into this whenever to kind of fake them out and then go into some kind of combo. Um, his quirk 2 is a string, it's a 3 hitting string, the last hit is an armor move that then makes the opponent flat onto the ground, and as you see it does dot damage, damage over time, and ends up doing 3142 damage, uh, because of the damage over time. Um, I know I have checked, you can't, you can't get an attack after the splat unless it's a plus ultra attack, so when he's in this, I can cancel it to his plus ultra 1. And that will connect, obviously. Uh, it can also be used in the air if you don't want to... As you saw before, I was having difficulty doing some combos because the armor move in the air sometimes causes a splat when they near the wall. So sometimes I like to do two hits into his quirk 2 string because it does decent damage and gives damage over time, which does even more damage. Um, it's the same in the air as it is on the ground, obviously, and you can dash cancel after the third hit, even in the air. 
and more easily when they're near a wall. <laughs> there was a weird symbol combo, combo showing that you can dash cancel after it. Um, his tilt quirk too is an interesting quick grab attack. It's not an unblockable grab. It can't become an unblockable grab. Like a red, red move, it, it'll never be a red move. But it is a grab special move where he throws the opponent and does decent damage. Also, side note, you can actually choose where you throw the opponent. So if I hold down the movement stick, I can choose to throw him behind me. I can choose to throw him to the so side behind me, or I can choose to keep him in front of me, like this. Uh, which is interesting, you know, if you have positioning, you want to keep them in front of a wall for a wall splat combo or something. It, it can be useful. Um, but its main use is it's actually even better than this as a combo starter, which might be startling because that does 5,029 damage, this only does, what, 3,000, but I guess it just has a lot less combo scaling so that attacks after it don't get lowered as much, and you can connect it after his third hit of his regular string, so that's probably a big reason why. So you can do three hits into the grab, dash cancel, one, two, armor move, into his quirk two string, and that does 9,000, I think, 9,500 about damage, yeah. And it'll do about 10,000 if you cancel into his other air ender with the armor move into his running puddle. So, like this. Oops. Try that again. Nope. There we go. 10,115 damage, which is... Compared to other characters, that is great damage for one dash cancel. And he can get this all the time, it's not that difficult. Just one, two, three, into this. One, two, arm move, into his... Tilt quirk one. I'll show, Oops. show that again. One, two, three, into his grab. One, two, this. And as long as they don't hit off the wall, bounce off the wall like they did just then, then it does 10,000 damage. Oh, no. Run Ender can be a bit <laughs> unreliable as you see here, but. I like to go for it most of the time anyways, even if I'm not sure if it'll hit. Here we go. Because it just does so much damage, and even if it misses, you, um... So like, say if I know it misses, I can just run away, I'm not going to be unsafe, and I've put a puddle on the ground, so I can just... If it misses, and I, I see that it misses, and it's not going to hit him because of the stupid armor attack missing, um, I, I can just run away and put this puddle down, and then do some zoning. They're not going to want to come too close to me because of that, and if I hit one of these and I know it, then I can start his <laughs> that all over again. Um, yeah, so bread and butter, bread and butter combo for Shigaraki. Three hits into tilt quirk two, dash cancel two hits, armor move into tilt quirk one. 10,115 damage. Now for his plus ultra combos, if you're going into plus ultra 1, I recommend doing the same start you did for his main damage BNB, so 1, 2, 3, into grab, wait for him to whack you onto the ground, and then go into level 1. It does 12,700 damage, which is pretty amazing. Uh, one plus ultra. Um, to combo into his level two, that actually doesn't work, so I recommend doing his other combo starter, which is this one. Oops, that's his level one. Oh, I think that's because the other puddle hit him. 
And then I didn't have meter. Wow, this is going well. Yeah, I'll do it a bit early this time. Okay, maybe you don't do that then. I guess the most damaging thing after that would be to go into his quirk one then. There we go. That should be pretty decent damage. Seventeen thousand damage, pretty decent. Most of their health bar gone. If you need to make that awesome comeback mode. Um, I think that's about all I have to say for Shigaraki. He's not too great for wall splats. I just remembered, he doesn't have many abilities that send him flying. Uh, I showed you his armor attack. It has, a, it has a long knockdown, if you didn't see there. You can actually go into his... arm move while they're on the ground, and then usually you're still safe enough to go into this when they try to punish you, which is pretty amazing. Uh, this move, don't use. You definitely use his quirk moves when you're far away. You can run in at them with this, put the puddle down, start some zoning, go in, and yeah, he's an interesting combo character and has interesting setups and zoning. That's basically what I would call him as a character, and I find him pretty fun. Uh, more interesting in this game than the old version of Shigaraki. I just think he's a lot more interesting. Anyways, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.